YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up, baby? Back in this thing again with another review. This is Q's Insight. I am Cali, and today we're going to be talking about Hawkeye. <laughs> I just play, man. We're going to be talking about Hawkeye episode three. It's called Echoes, right? Um, so. We already know how we do it in this one, bro. We get the uh, premise, three favorite scenes, great. Then we on to the next one, right? So on this, um, this one opens up in uh, 2007, and we get to see Echo's character as a little kid. Um, she's in school, and you know, she's learning from the teachers. But you can see there's something different about her. Nothing, nothing different in the wrong way, but you can see there's something different about her, and you end up finding out that she's deaf. Um, and then um, eventually, after the school day is over, she goes home. She talks to her dad in sign language, and she's just wondering, you know, is things gonna be alright for me? You know what I'm saying? And and you know, you promised me to put me in a in a, in a school, you know with other kids that are like me, but yet I'm in a regular school. And he tells her, you know, I'm sorry about that. Um, I wanted to do that, but I couldn't. But believe me, you'll be better for this. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll you'll learn and everything's gonna be okay. Um <clears throat> so this is talking about a lot of stuff. Um something about dragons as well. She asked him about dragons, if they're real. He says, if they are real, they're probably in another, you know, world. She says, you know, is there any way that they could ever come here? And he says, you know, possibly. But if they did come here, they would be stronger. Um, and that, that, that to me, the little convo that they had, it kind of was basically saying that, like, she's the dragon. You know what I'm saying? She lives in her world, but she also lives in this world. And if she could mix the two and make, she can become, you know, greater than, you know, anybody. So I, I thought that was pretty nice, you know. Um, then we learn that uh, Maya is, is Echo's name before she becomes Echo. Um, but we learn that she has a prosthetic foot. Um, and she's in karate and she's still handling business. She fights again to do this bigger than her, heavier than her, stronger than her. She has a prosthetic leg. And you see that when she, when the, the dude is fighting before her, she looks at his footing and his footwork and, you know, his, his handwork and everything like that. And she comes up with a strategy to beat him. And she actually ends up using this strategy when she fights him. He thinks, oh, this is going to be easy, bro. You know, whatever. She takes him out. So you see how her thinking, her interpretation of, of certain things, it, it 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 benefits her as well as it as it, you know, hurts her a little bit. It still benefits her, you know? Um so then we have a time jump. We see her a little bit older. She's training in kickboxing and she is whipping the dudes but very badly. Um, so we learn that she's a good fighter. Um, being deaf is nothing, you know, negative towards her. She is a stronger person, be stronger person because of it. So that's that was cool to see as well, right? Um, after her training lesson is over, she goes to her dad, and she ends up finding that her dad and her man that are in the building end up getting attacked by Ronan and end up all getting killed. And so before he dies, she runs to him and she tries to talk to him and, you know, to have a little quick conversation. And um, then he passes away. Um, so then we go back to the present day. And you see Hawk and Kate and um, they're still tied up. Um, Echo finally comes down and she talks to Kate and Hawk, Hawkeye. To figure out what they're doing with the suit. Because obviously she wants the the guy that's in the suit. She wants Ronan because Ronan killed her father. You know what I'm saying? So, um, anyways, Hawkeye tries to explain that Kate was, you know, 
she put the suit on, but she didn't know whose it was and, 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 and you know, the, the history behind it. But he also didn't tell her that he was Ronan. So she kind of doesn't believe it. It gets a little rough with Kate. Um, things escalate. And then eventually um, Kate um, and, and uh, Kate and Hawkeye. <sighs> Sorry about that. Kate and Hawkeye end up escaping. Uh, what ends up happening as Echo's talking to um, one of her, one of the dudes, one of her team member, team members. Hawkeye escapes. The henchmen chase him, as well as Echo. And while you have that happening, uh, Kate is just being watched by one henchman, and she ends up escaping. So after that, um, they end up leaving the building, followed by. Um, the Mafia, right? Um, so then, eventually, um, Hawkeye and Kate get into a car. They try to escape. They're still uh, pursued by the Mafia and Echo. Um, we have a chase scene, and um, eventually what ends up happening is... Hawkeye and Kate take out majority of the of the of the mafia that's following them, and um, they end up swinging off of this bridge into onto a uh, a train, and so they escape that way. And it looks like they died or they escaped. And so of course Echo and the henchmen that are left end up just letting them be because they you know they're long gone most likely at this point. So, um, after that, uh, uh, Kate decides to tell, you know, Hawkeye that, hey, like, you know, let's go sneak into my mom's penthouse. She has a computer there and the access that she has, um, available on the computer could give us the information that we need on echo and just whoever else we want to look up and so you know he's like okay cool that's that's what we'll do so they go there um they start looking up certain members they find out certain things and while kate is looking up the stuff um hawkeye ends up hearing something so he starts walking around and and they're in her in the penthouse trying to find out what the noise was as Kate is still sitting there looking up the information, um, it, sh it says on the computer screen, you've been disconnected. So somebody disconnected either the computer or just the access to, to, to the stuff that she was looking up. And then we follow back to Clint uh, or Hawkeye, whatever you want to say. And he's still walking around trying to figure out what the noise was. And all of a sudden, uh, Jack pops out with the sword and puts it to his neck and tells him, don't move. And uh, that's how it ends. Um, so... Out of the three episodes that's been released so far, this is the best one to me. Um, so that's I'll say that I'll say that. All right. Uh, one of my favorite scenes was uh, the karate scene with uh, Echo in the past. Her, you know, overcoming the obstacle of that guy being so big and her having a prosthetic leg and and being deaf, she still was able to beat him up. And also the, the, the scene when she's a little bit older and she's in a boxing uh, class and learning a lesson. And she's whooping the, the teacher's butt, right? One of my favorite scenes. Uh, another one would be um, uh, when Hawkeye shot the bow and arrow to try to free Kate um, from her bondage. And at the same time, that same arrow hit one of the guys that was watching her. So it sliced his face a little bit. Then continued down and, uh, you know, cut through her, her bondages. And then she was able to, you know, es escape. That was a pretty dope sh uh, shot, shot right there. Um, and then after that, um, it would be. Uh, it would be Kate helping Hawkeye. Um, 
with this conversation that he had on the phone with his uh, son. Uh, no, it wasn't any action in that scene, but it just was a touching scene. Like, you see Hawkeye being tied up in the situation that he's in, and you can tell that he wants to be home with his kids. And, you know, his son wants him to be home. And, you know, his son loves him, of course. And his son is like, you know, you promised you'd be here for Christmas. You know, um, it's all right if you're not, though. We understand, you know. And Kate is helping him out, you know, because he can't hear. His hearing aid got destroyed. Um, and, you know, at that point, they didn't get it repaired. So he can't really hear too well. So she's writing down what her what his son is saying and then he reads it and then he replies back to his son on the phone and it just was cool to see you know cool and sad to see you know him wanting to be home his son wanted him to be home um you can tell that he was bothered by you know the situation and him you know being stuck and prevented from getting back to his house because that's that he promised his kids he'd be there for christmas and then on the flip note, you see Kate, although she's helping him out, you can see that she's bothered because her dad is dead. You know what I'm saying? So she sees a loving father, you know, doing any and everything to 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 get back to their to his son to, and to his, his his two sons and, and daughter, you know what I'm saying, and, and wife, you know. And it just was it was touching to her to see that. You know what I'm saying? That was something that she's missing in her life because her father's dead. And she had that when her father was alive, but being that he's dead you know, it, 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 it touched her. So, and then you kind of have a scene where you see her walking away after he thanks her for helping him out with the phone situation. And, you know, you can see that she's, she's, de you know, depressed about the situation. Her father's dead. And then you see uh, Clint and he's like, you see him washing dishes or whatever. And he's depressed because of the situation that he's stuck in, preventing him from getting back to his kids. So I, th I thought that was a very revealing scene. I thought it was pretty dope. Um, pretty emotional scene, right? Um, so those will be three of my favorite scenes. Uh, this episode, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. So better than the first two episodes by a little bit. But um, I, I, I'm i I'm hoping that it, it just keeps ramping up from here because we only got three more episodes left. So, uh, But either way, you'll get the reviews for sure for those no matter what, you know. Um, but yeah, if you guys seen this episode, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, this is Q's Insight. I am Callie, and until next time.